Well, thanks for joining me. We're in Revelation chapter 6. I'm reading here verse uh, chapter 12 and verse number 7 says, Now war arose in heaven. There is this great um, conflict that is going on, a great spiritual battle that is taking place in the realms, um, in the heavenly realm. The forces of God against the forces of Satan, darkness against light, righteousness against unrighteousness. There is this battle going on. And we are seeing some of that effects in the world, in the, in the natural world today. War arose in heaven. Michael and his angels, this is Michael the archangel, and his angels fighting against the dragon. The archangel Michael fighting against Satan and all his hosts. And it says, and the dragon and his angels, they fought back. We're going to see why the devil is fighting back. Um, so defiantly but he was defeated you know the devil is no match Satan is no match for God the kingdom of darkness is no match for the kingdom of God Jesus said behold I give you the believer power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you so here he was defeated and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. God is saying, your time's up, devil. Get out of here. And it identifies for us the dragon even more clearly in verse 9. It says, and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Look at that. We're given so many different names here. Descriptions of Satan. The dragon. The ancient serpent. As he appeared to Eve in the garden. He is um, the devil. He is Satan. And I think the most apt description of Satan is that he is the deceiver of the whole world. He is the great deceiver. He was thrown down and all his angels... All the angels who decided to rebel with him against God, they were also thrown down um, with the devil. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. The accuser of our brothers has been thrown down one who accuses them day and night before our God. And we're going to take this up because it's an interesting truth here in this verse for us to learn. God bless.